Yeah. Also, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows uh, this SCP. 2316, I believe is. Yeah, you don't recognize the bodies in the water. But I didn't know its nickname was actually called Field Trip. Oh, oh there's hidden words. Look, Jerry. They've been waiting for a long time. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Cause oh. I I never see no there was hidden words. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's more. Oh, I recognize the bodies in the world uh, water. Below, 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 below. There's a there's a random thing right here. Oh my god. This is awesome. We were there with the what the fuck? And there's another link. Go to like. Oh, it goes to a story. Oh my god, I did not know about any of this. And it goes to an it goes back to the SCP. Okay, that's that's cool. I didn't even know about that. I'm not even sure if that did anything. Yeah. SCP-2316. Access level four and up. Containment class here, disruption class, uh, I don't know how to read that. Risk class danger. Cognito hazard warning. They've been waiting for a long time. The following file contains images and text that are carriers for anomalous cognito hazardous you do not recognize the bodies on the water. Due to this, it is imperative, imperative that all personnel accessing this file be certified as having cognitive resistance value of no less than 14.5. Should you fail, automated CRV verify you remain calm and do not move. Members of your site and medical staff will be with you shortly. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly in your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Processing complete. Results displayed below. Verification complete. User CRV is within acceptable limits. Sorry, I'm just highlighting to make sure I don't miss. Oh, uh, I, I found out what uh, Kinect is. Since we don't know what that is. It, in description for disruption classes, it's known the known or potential disruption would be extended to a number of people roughly defined as a city. The anomalous effects could spread with fairly significant speed fast enough as to cause concern. The Foundation would find it moderately difficult to neutralize its effects. Also, you seem to have a better idea how to connect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, apparently, connect actually means something. It's the Pacific Gulf you'll pick for fire. Generally, a campfire, though, it can be a bit larger. It has a footnote, which is weird. Anyway. Yeah, sorry. Special con that's okay. Special containment procedures. Under no circumstance are Foundation personnel 2316. Observation of SCP-2316 must only be carried out by remote attendees utilizing video and audio equipment. Only those personnel adequately rated for exposure to cognitohazardous anomalies may review footage and audio of SCP-2316. The lake in which SCP-2316 is located has been fenced off and is and is to be routinely patrolled by individuals who have not been exposed by 2316 and have no prior knowledge of its characteristics. You do not recognize the body in the water. Individuals who attempt to bypass the enforced quarantine must be apprehended and moved to Site 33 for 
a full cognitive influence screening. Individuals who come within 50 meters of the light containing 2316 are to be considered lost. That is a long range near the light. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Processing complete. Results displayed below. Verification is complete. User CRV is within acceptable limits. Description. SCP-2316 is the designation of an existing within Lake Redacted within Redacted County. Redacted. SCP-2316 manifests as a group of human corpses. Due to the nature of SCP-2316, it is uncertain how many corpses exist within the group. Number is currently estimated at 45, but has been estimated as high as 200 or floating in, sm in a small group at the surface of the water. The identities of these corpses are cognito, ha cognito hazard removed, automated change unknown, through the DNA testing has been inconclusive. So I don't know who the bodies are. While SCP-2316 appears to be individual instances, it is derived that SCP-2316 may instead be an entity composed of collective consciousness. Individual instances of 2316 do not act on their own, but seem to be able to act collectively as a single unit. I know who they are. I know their names, each and every one of them. Don't you? Oh, that's a weird footnote. Individual instances of SCP-2316 are unrecognizable, and you do not recognize the bodies in the water. Jeremiah Stainman, author Arthur Scott, Denise Clark, Har Cognito Hatter, and Cognito Hatter, Cognito Hazard, automated message, edit locked. Oh. Someone recognized them. SCP-2316 hosts a powerful cognito hazard effect, causing those who have viewed SCP-2316 are aware of certain parts of its future who were enrolled in the cognito hazardous removed automated message invalid to believe that the individual instances of 2316 are human beings they recognize typically from their childhood. They're lying. They know damn well who they are. The cognito hazard is real, but it's just their way of crying for of letting people know who they are, who they were. Oh my. Attempting to come into contact with SCP-2316 instances by the way of entering like redacted or touching instance of SCP-2316 will cause other instances of 2316 to appear. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Additional instances only serve to reinforce and add the strength of the cognito hazard, compelling affected individuals into the lake. Individuals who enter the lake in this way are lost and to date none have been recovered. How can you not recognize the body? These footnotes are interesting. Addendum 2316.1 Interview Data expunged. They don't want to show you, but I will below. You need to see this. They were your friends. Uh, do you want to read that expunged on who they were? Or
Bonita? What? Oh, I was asking if you wanted to uh, read along in the data You don't see it? Oh, hold on. Oh, I didn't see that link. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who do you want me to be? Do you want me to be the redacted? <laughs> Which one do you want to be? I guess I can be the redacted. All right. Verification come all... Verification come evil... All user something I can't read is within acceptable. Let me show you. Oh. Begin log. Dr. Harrison, did you ever feel compelled to enter the water? Like something was pulling you in? Well, no, of course not. There's nothing wrong with them. They didn't drag me in. I saw them in the water and went to myself. I needed to see them. I wanted to hear what they're saying. They're my friends. When you entered the water, what did you see? You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Faces, my friends, faces I recognize. Some I didn't, but I become more familiar when I saw, as I saw them. I know my whole life, but there, there was something wrong with them. Let me enter, like, the picture. Uh, and uh, there was something wrong with that. You can show the, the chat of the CS. Oh, my God. That's... How have we not... I've not seen this shit. Okay, 2316 is now one of my favorites. Let's see. John N. Winterson. Thanks for the memories. Clarence Patrick. I'll see you soon. Touch. Gordon Crook. Tarp DM. Hannah M. Silver. What a wonderful year, too. Bad it, the idiot had to, has to spoil it. August S. Smith. Semprey C. Margaret L. Rickers. Break a leg! Samuel Watson. Good luck to all of you, except for Redacted. Jennifer L. Sontag. Funniest moment this year? When Redacted fell on his ugly face. Author M. Your oh, four people do not have pictures. Arthur M. York, we would have won if it wasn't for that sore loser. George M. Rogers, some people are useless. Audrey Donald, when Redacted asked me out, I said, Percy X. Canyon, we're going to get that bastard. Sally A. Conroy, you reap what you sow. Curtis L. Sanders, I don't think anything more needs to be said. Jennifer N. Danners. I'm glad that Redacted will do nothing. Thomas P. Gifford. I hope one day Redacted gets cancer. Jesus! The last, the last four people, their, uh, their last words are... That's definitely a little dark. Okay. Anyway, back to the what we were reading. Wrong with them? Oh, sorry. That's the face someone you see in a dream. Or you can't remember it. There's something wrong. And the way they're speaking, they... Speaking. No, that's impossible. They're simply not... Not moving a mass. But I could hear them. Ask for help. They told me. They, they told me what they were. They told me... I mean, you knew who they were, that you... Enough of that. You're clearly succumbing to the cognito hazard. We need to get you medical attention agents. If you would... Get your hands off me. I know all their names, Harrison. I heard them speaking to me. Every single one. All it takes is one person to see them and tell people that... And they'll know what they've been trying to hide. Kirk Longwood High School class of... Subdue them. Get them out of here. Take them to Nestics and turn that goddamn recorder. 
and log. Also, let's see what that link was. Oh, it was to a different SCP. Wait, this so this SCP is connected? Yep, it's a safe class uh, SCP. Let's finish reading this and then let's connect next SCP connected to this one. It may not be Peter, but uh, since it's connected, I feel like we. Please repeat the following. Oh, let me just. There we go. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly in your terminal rec um, terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. I recognize the bodies in the water. Processing complete. Results displayed below. Verification incomplete. User CRV does not is not within acceptable limits. User CRV influenced by active cognito hazard. Please stay still. A member of site's medical staff will be with you shortly. Below, 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 below. You don't, oh, another terminal thing. Yep. Okay. We don't have a lot of time. You'll need to get away quickly. Go back to the lake. Go to the water. Look into their eyes. Your friends, your classmates. You took a trip to that lake of the fall. When you were young, don't you remember? Look into their eyes. I know you can hear them talking to you, just like they talk to me. Don't let them tell you it's just the cognitive This is their fault. They caused this. We were all innocent kids. Don't you remember? And you just got away. You and I, the rest of them are in the bottom of the lake. We're back together again. They want us to know. They want us to remember. Wake up, goddammit. Remember the fall of 75, the year we were supposed to graduate. Don't let them make you forget. They're calling to you. Can't you hear them? 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 Oh, that's a lot. Oh, there's a footnote. We don't know what was in the lake. I mean, we didn't know what was in the lake. The foundation didn't try to save us. They watched and let it happen. Nobody stopped them. You do not recognize the bodies. Oh. Yep, <laughs> it just repeats. You do not recognize the bodies in the water forever. <laughs> yeah, and then it says, can't you hear them a lot more? And it hear them? I know you can. Can't you hear them? They're waiting for you. We were there with them. And go back to the lake. Which is the story. Which I'm going to save for another stream for SB Story Streams because that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I would love to hear you read that story because the SB is interesting. So, yeah, so it's more than just looking at the lake now. Yeah, also, I feel like before we rate that, we should, I should probably read 1833 unless you want to read. Well, we can probably just go with the description, because I don't think it's... Oh, I... S Wait a minute. Oh, I see where it's connected. It's at, at the bottom. Oh, it's a copy of the ninth. Yeah, it's the yearbook. The yearbook is, an, is entitled Reflections of 76. Oh, and if you click that, you get uh, all the, you get all related, uh, you get all the stories connected to it and the SCPs. Yep. Which is SCP-1833, SCP-332, and... The 14th 
23 that we're on right now. What's yeah. the, the 33 to the one that's also connected? Well, I guess let's look at this one the rest of the way first. This one is surprisingly a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Yeah, it seems like it, it has like disturbing photographs. And apparently, whenever someone uh, reads this uh, copy of the book, the person who reads it will perceive it as their own high school yearbook. Yep. Yeah, and I look at the bottom where it shows sample of images in the pages. Yeah. There's three SCPs. Uh, SC332. Yeah. SCP-814, and 2316. Yeah, that's why I said, uh, we only, after looking at this one, we're related to the bodies in the water. I don't think the other two are physically related. I think it's more related to this one. But the, bo the bottom is definitely 2316. Well, I think they are related. It's a book that can make you, you mentally connect uh, the bodies in the water to the school that you went to. Wait, does the Foundation know about this? <laughs> well, what... I, I don't know, but if you really look into three, it becomes a lot more clear that that's connected to the bodies in the water. Yeah. I mean, you don't even need to read that much of 18. Yeah. And some people. So, this makes you believe this was your high school. But it also connects you to the bodies in the water. Think about it. That's dangerous. Oh, wait, how's the fairing of the discovery of additional anomalies? Which is connected to 1423. Think of what the redacted person said when they were in the air. They were frantic because they were talking about it. But they thought that because they read the year. Yeah, so I decided to do a, a little click. Okay, so, hold on. Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong thing. God damn it. I need to go back. Where, which, I, I don't know which one it was. Fuck. Do you need help? I'm trying to f figure out where I clicked that one SCP. Uh, oh, there it is. Playing Longwood High School. There we go. So I went here. All right. You see where I, I click marching band? Yeah. I go here yeah. and I see additional anomalies. Oh. I click that. Look, it's 1423. However, I attempted to contact other subjects who have contacted during that period. I click this. And what is this? Yeah. Like I said, it's connected. The, the book and the bodies in the water. Oh. Yeah, it's what just... What the hell happened in that, in that school? I don't know. I'm assuming... Like, majority of that class interacted with that lake. Also, uh, 1423 is a photograph that depicts several unidentified teenagers from that high school. And at the back, there's a message that said we... Yeah. Oh. So hold on, I want to see, because I want to see if going to 3814 will it do anything. Following the change, subject will become possessive of the claiming it documents their experience. So far, it seems like every item can connect people to the SCP directly. Yeah. Um, 
It looks like it, it goes to a dead end with 814. Like, once you go to 814, it doesn't seem to go to the other ones. Other three. So, it, it stays. But the others, they connect. So, I don't think 814 is connected to 2316, but to 1833... I just realized we've been going through a whole consolidated loop of anomalies instead of going to the tier list. <laughs> well, that's because they're all connected. Yeah. So, it's a lot more dangerous than originally thought. Also, I think um, the only reason why is that uh, one SCP is listed that's the dead end is because it used to be part of the, the, that high school. What the fuck happened at that high school? Yeah. Man, it seems like there's multiple things connected to that high school. And... And it all leads people to connect to that high school and eventually come pulled to the body of water, which is kind of terrifying. I can't exactly say it's it's only one because there's multiple SEC trying to pull people in. Not to mention the large space the lake itself takes that pulls people towards it. I feel like it's city level danger. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's like too overly big. Oh, I just look at the next one. The next one's gonna be easy. <laughs> okay, you read that one. Uh, it's twenty three sixteen. Or not twenty three sixteen. Oh. Twenty three seventeen. Okay. The world devourer. <laughs> oh. I said, I I literally said. You don't recognize his body's in the water's fucking number twice. Well, his nickname is A Door to Another World, but we all know what's inside it. Yeah, and there's also... Uh, with people saying that 2317 is a door to the Scarlet King. No, it's not. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm being messed for something. Give me a moment. Alright. Sorry about that. Anyways. But, yeah, because uh, saying the Scarlet Queen is here would literally break the the third law of the Scarlet King. The law of concept. Because, you know, as long as you, more you talk about them, the more powerful they get. To enter the world. Oh, for se You know what I mean, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Anyways, iteration one. Welcome to SCP IP Net Direct, Direct Access Terminal. Please enter command. Login. Please enter user authentication. JVance1 at Foundation. Dot SP password nine nine one zero. If the case is accepted, please enter command. Access twenty three seventeen. Incorrect format of or unknown command. Help access. Access display special containment procedure synopsis for a given artifact. Syntax access SP number clearance level. Access twenty three seventeen zero. Username Jonathan Fance. Title research assistant site one seventy nine. Displaying twenty three seventeen clearance level zero. 
Alright, item 2317, object class data expunge. Special containment procedures. 2317 is to be secured and containment area 179. In a reinforced 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter containment chamber, armed guards are to be placed at all times in order to prevent authorization access to the facility. Section 2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for the 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. And that's it of the anomaly. That's all we need to look at. I'm kidding. With their information on 2317 is classified level 1, restricted or higher. Insufficient security clearance. And here we go. You are attempting to access a security level 1 confidential file. Please note that access is the file is restricted to personnel with level 1 security clearance. And that information is further restricted to those with a need to know basis. If you wish to continue, please re enter the user authentication now. Item SCP 2317, object class Keter. Special containment procedures. SCP 2317 is to be secured containment area 179, reinforced by in a reinforced 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter. I should probably just. It's, oh, yeah, it's the same, same thing. I should probably just read the blue. Oh, but go get food, Jerry, if you want to. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, you can go get it. I can. I can read the. We can go. Th I can go through this. Cause, I mean, we already know we're gonna put it. The world devour. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna read it anyways. Yeah. All personnel assi assigned to 2317 must rotate out for one month of psychological counsel counseling for two months on site. Personnel assigned to 2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on a milligram obedience examination. Be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. While on site, individuals assigned to 2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changers to protect their identity. On site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. All 30 hours are to be spent in court private quarters alone. A Class C personnel, personnel with background of convicted murderer is to be assigned to 2317 each month for the purposes of carrying Procedure 2220 Calabasas. During Procedure 2020 Calabasas, at least one security clearance 3 2317 staff member must monitor and procedure the camera at all times. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells where explosive callers will be detonated. Iteration 3. Your routine action uh, to restrict the file. Please note access. Uh, you know, basic content, blah, blah. For sure, regarding your access file, including date and time, location will be reported to records the information security administration, aka RISA. So that just goes to. Yeah, it just goes to their. Uh. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get something. I'll okay. Yeah, it just goes to Ryza. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, incorrect five face Wish comes to present. Okay, it's accepted. The access file has been logged, reported. Here's the information. All right. All right, description. Uh, all right. Oh, there's more stuff. Okay, here we go. All right, expression of an alternate reality, SC2317 Prime. Is limited, but the area directly accessible through 2317 is a salt pan, several kilometers in radius, a circle of seven pillars, uh, A through G, are positioned in a 10 meter diameter circle, approximately 10 meters directly. In front of 2317, each pillar is approximately 1 meter in diameter and 7 meters tall. Constructed of marble if and engraved with a series of intricate bass reliefs. Our style of engravings do not correspond to that of any known modern historic prehistoric civilization. Then one, Procedure 20, 220 Calabasas. Procedure 220 Calabasas is a ritual to be performed on a solar noon each day. Find is the moment when the sun reaches the height over 2317. Performing Procedure 220 Calabasas requires the following. The expression in order by the 05 on redacted information moved to the eyes only document 2317 2020 Calabasas. Access to 2317-2020 Calabasas limited to personnel with security clearance 3 or higher. 
failure and a point properly performed procedures one of 20 cal best may result in an xk class in the world scenario should any mishap or failure occur all personnel are to return immediately through 2317 closing the door behind them the containment chamber will be immediately locked down and and a level 2 emergency declared reported to the 05 council further instructions will be provided to on-site personnel according to emergency order sakuraya All right, so now we go to iteration four. All right, so now we go down here. Prior paragraph provides as follows. One staff member with security clearance four slash 2317 will be assigned each month as class D personnel in order to be ordered in order to act as assistant to primary celebrant, personnel without security clearance of level 3 or higher will be told that the assistant is a Class D personnel chosen, chosen from the normal pool of Class D candidates. All persons directed involved with the procedure to 220 cal passes are to be informed of this fact. No person shall be authorized to assist with the procedure to 20 cal passes while first being clearly briefed that the assistant is not, in fact, a Class A personnel and should not be terminated in the event that they disobey direct orders from the guards. Alright, is that as follows? Alright, so here's the cap 220 cal passes. Two armed foundation security personnel with security clearance of level 3 or higher who are to referred to as guards. One foundation personnel with security clearance of level 4 hereafter referred as a as celebrant. One class D personnel specified under special containment procedures. Here I Warning, refer to as assistant. Do not oh. follow the great Dr. Bright on Twitch. <laughs> Worst mistake imaginable. I repeat, do not follow the great Dr. Bright on Twitch. Hi. Thank you for the follow. We're rating a keter class SCPs on their danger levels. Glad to have you in. Anyways, a dad expunged. One obsidian edge knife here after referred to as blade. One silver asperlegium and asperorium referred to as at least 500 cc's of holy water blessed by a priest of Abrahamic faith. One, celebrant guards and assistant open 2317 step through and enter 2317 prime. Assistant will enter first, followed by the guards, followed by a celebrant. Guards will at all times retain situational awareness of assistant and should be prepared to prevent escape with deadly force. Beginning of the pillar closest to and in line with 2317, also known as Dash A, celebrant circumstance circulates 23, uh, Dash A through G, proceeding counterclockwise at an even measured pace. But every other step, celebrant will scatter holy water using asperlegium and aspersorium in the direction of the circle center. Upon completing one circumulation cir 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 of a dash A through G, celebrant scatters holy water over the head of the assistant and recites the following phrase, redacted, uh, dad expunged. Assistant was circumulates dash A through G, in a clockwise direction, scattering the mixture of blood and holy water in the direction of the circle center. Upon completing one circulation of dash A through G, assistant walks to the center of the circle of stones and pours the remaining mixture of blood and water onto the discolored patch of salt and stand in the center while reciting the following phrase for dactyl. All materials are gathered up, the SA knife is secured, and all personnel return through 2317, which is frequently closed. Failure at any point to properly perform procedure 2020 cal passes may result in an SK class in a door scenario. Should any mishap or failure occur, all personnel are to return immediately through 2317, closing the door behind them. The containment chamber will be immediately locked down and a level 2 emergency declared and reported to the O5 Council. Further instructions will be provided to on-site personnel according to Emergency Order Sakuraya. Alright, so what's the final, uh, not final, what's the next iteration? Alright. Alright, here's more information. SP2317 
dash A through G extends 200 meters below the surface of the sand and into 2317-H. 2317-H is a spherical space 100 kilometers in diameter located directly underneath dash A through G, lined with the same stone used to construct dash A through G contained within dash H is dash K. Hereafter referred to as entity. The following information has been inferred from the seismic analysis and ground penetrating radar, as well as direct observation. Entity appears to be obese, human-like creature of immense proportions. Estimated height is fully erect. It is over 100 kilometers. Horns are sibling, three branches spout out from its head, which lacks a lower jaw. Entire body is covered in millions of overlapping plates like scales. Seven heavy hooks are embedded in Entity's back, each one attached to a heavy steel chain connected to the lower end of one of the seven pillars embedded in the ceiling of the chamber. At the time of writing this document, six pillars of chains have been broken or damaged, and only one chain remains intact. Alright. And another thing with Mrs. Steph that was a die expunge was one live male Gallus domesticus referred to perfectly caged to prevent complications during transport is 2317 Prime, hereafter referred to as chicken. Seven seals, seven rings, seven thrones for the Scarlet King. And the thing was that expunged, celebrant then moves to a safe distance away from the assistant who will take the Sibian knife and use it to kill the chicken provided as sacrifice. Blood will be drained from the chicken and added to the asparagus, then stirred, mixed with holy water, ex water already contained within. Blood for the old gods, water for the new king. And then 2317-2, history. 2317 was first discovered in 1922 by data expunged. Object was significantly moved to what we call as provisional containment area 17. Object was moved to containment area 179 and what. 1982, where it remains as if writing this article. Initially discovered four of the seven chains were broken and three were intact. The breaking of the fifth chain and redacted corresponded directly to a redacted event in our world. The sixth chain, which broke and redacted, was was also coincident with in with a much more severe redacted event, eventually resulting in a death of two million persons. And also supplementary text retrieved at the time of containment pointed to procedure. 220 Calabasas is the effective means of maintaining containment until effective means of repairing or retaching said chains can be discovered. Containment procedures are modified to incorporate procedures 2020. Calabasas, as records show that, that the sequence of redacted events showed an exponential increase of lethality, it can be ex extrapolated that failure of the chain dash G will result in an XK class end of the world scenario. For this reason, every possible effort is to be made to ensure a successful procedure 2020 Calabasas. Now we're going to find out a really bad thing. You ready, Bookworm? You ready to find out about the truth about this SCP? Because there's truth. I wait till you're ready. I may have read it a bit. Oh, God damn it, Bookworm. <laughs> no, 513. Special Exorcist Code Night Midnight. Code Midnight Nightmare Midnight Red. Irrelevance. Description 2317 is primarily. It's interesting for sure. Yeah. From evil entity known as the Redacted Devourer of Worlds. Name. Redacted intentionally. The Irkashis Codex indicates that it was captured and imprisoned by Irkin Shan Mystic Circuit 1894 BCE. An excerpt of relevant passages follows. And Akepshis led his army of 10,000 into the thun beyond the clouds. And there did the, they do battle with the devourer. May his name remain forever unremembered. And Akepshis and his 10,000 did cross seven cunning chains out of the bones of Jasparta. So the bride of the undead devourer, may his name remain forever unremembered, and bound him within the pearl of the father of oysters, who he dwells under the mail of salt, and round under the sea, and captureth order that the gates of the far country be sealed forever, but lest the dead bride devourer, may his name remain forever unremembered, find its way back to our world. 
It's not clear how the 19th century Society of Golden Arrow discovered how to create a gate to universe cap at Urkish, nor the reasons for doing so. What is clear is that the damage to our fir first four chains that bind the devourer was accidental. By the time our founder took possession of the item following the dissolution of the society, the organization had bankrupted itself several times over trying desperately to repair the chain cost. Project Containment Profile Indications the final containment failure will occur at some point within the next century as the writing of this article. The mean time to, to failure being calculated at 30 years. All efforts to repair or replace the chains have failed. All efforts to re rediscover the method of creating these chains have proven fruitless. Research is currently underway to determine an alternate containment plan. But the possibility that, that anything can be kept can keep the devourer from entering our universe is slim. Especially in the original the material used to create chains. Namely, the bones and sinew of an of the another devourer entity are no longer in existence. Morally threat of, is internal despair or panic. In order to maintain morale, a false commitment procedure, procedure 2020 Calabasas, is authored and implemented with false commitment procedure has been given a sense of veracity by the following means, incorporating elements of common ritualist magics, incorporating elements of popular religious sites, rites, incorporating elements of other known occult organs. Organizations, or creating elements of other known special social containment procedures, incorporating references to similar but unrelated occult entities, increased information security guarding the elements in, of the procedure, appealing to the common essential main and effectiveness of thermonuclear weapons in destroying paranormal entities. Although completely ineffectual, the purpose of 2022 Kyle is to provide appearance of act active containment in order to allay anxiety among staff until a more permanent solution can be found. In the meantime, preparations will be made in order to ensue the survival of the human race following a containment failure. As most of the recommended preparations overlap with, a f with or are identical to preparations already underway in the case of numerous other SK class scenarios, minimal additional resources are required. Approved by the Anonymous vote of the Overseer Council on Redacted. Please enter command. Thank you. All access required past 24 hours have been removed from the log records and information. Screening measures records redacted. Logging out. Thank you. Log this with shutting down. It is now safe to turn off your computer. So we already know where this is going. It's going into X game. <laughs> we don't need to talk about it. Turn this off, computer. <laughs> Alright, end of stream. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> that would have been a funny time, like, Peter, to crash. <laughs>